Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Light Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Tauruses who are watching. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Taurus, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation and communication at a distance from one another. Just whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get started, Taurus, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. But without further ado, Taurus, let's go ahead and officially begin and get started here. Let's see what energy we do have making its way towards you. Can we please receive a couple messages from my Tauruses when it comes to their energy of love? What is coming towards Taurus's way from this connection? Or is it a new person making its way towards Taurus, please? And what would this person like for Taurus to know? All right, Taurus, so let's go ahead. I feel like these two cards go hand in hand, but I'll take one. As an extra, we have I'm strong on what I will not tolerate. Let's go ahead and receive one more message for now for my Tauruses, please. What else do we need to know here when it comes to Taurus's energy? So Taurus, as you can see, we have our first few messages. It wasn't hard to go after you. You're what my heart desires. I'm tired of keeping it cool. My feelings are much louder than that. I can only tell you for now how much I want this with you. It's truly not you, it's me. It's all fun and games until I'm unavailable. I want to show you how much I love you. And don't sugarcoat what's going on. So Taurus, I do feel like with this energy, it could be someone you are getting to know currently, or it could be someone new, so as of recent. Um, I feel like getting to know this person, Taurus, like right off the bat, you two hit it off. Whether you felt like you two were compatible as far as personality wise, having similar shared qualities, um, just the flow of conversation and getting to know this person, Taurus, I feel like it came with a breeze. Like it, it was easy to get to know this person and start to show more of your true personality. And it's not like you were being fake or anything, but just letting your guard down naturally. So it wasn't hard to go after you. You're what my heart desires. This could be a shared energy, Taurus. But I do feel like this is how this person felt looking at you, seeing you, Taurus. Making um, that first in initiative or taking action towards you first and getting to know you here. And I do feel like, of course, physically, you're who they're attracted to, but also... Perhaps a mysterious element about you, Taurus. Um, I feel like that made them want to inquire more about you, Taurus. So it wasn't hard to go after you. You're what my heart desires. But then, of course, that may bring up that energy of lust. And I mentioned that for or because of the rest of the energy we do have. So we have that first message. We also have. I can only tell you for now how much I want this with you. So I do feel like this is also a shared energy. Even though this person applied the pressure towards and you like what they're showing you, I feel like you're taking it slowly with a grain of salt here because you still don't know this person. Things can unfold. And just hoping that the people that you attract are honest, they are upfront, the interest that they're expressing to you is truly how they feel. But I also feel like you're aware of people moving too fast and it's like, yeah, that sounds good, but how can you even say what you want in the future with me when this isn't even solidified yet, when I'm still learning who you are? So I can only tell you for now how much I want this with you. Actions speak louder than words. It sounds good in the moment, but we'll see what is yet to come here. 
I want to show you how much I love you. I will touch back on this card, but I do feel like this is this person's energy, Taurus. I do feel like their energy is strong towards you. And of course, the, the word or the subject, the energy of love, it may have not came into the picture, but as far as this person telling you, telling you about how interested they are, Taurus, I feel like this resonates with their energy. But Taurus, we have don't sugarcoat what's going on. I feel like there's something, and of course, only take what resonates for you, but it's like you're intrigued. You want to see what happens with this person, but them being honest up front, being a loyal partner in the long run, I feel like that's what you're concerned about. So say, Taurus, you feel like there's some red flags or there's some things that you've observed or just some things that you still have to fill in the blanks for. Don't sugarcoat what's going on, I hope. The energy, the actions, the words that you're bringing to me are honest and they're with intention. That mutual intention that I've set out or relayed into this connection. So don't sugarcoat what's going on. Just be real, be upfront. So if this message does resonate for you, Taurus, there could be some of my Tauruses out there. And I say could because only take what resonates. But say something is raising your intuition or your intuition is speaking to you, perhaps a dream has come through Taurus for you. So don't sugarcoat what's going on. It's all fun and games until I'm unavailable, your energy Taurus. Keep it, I was gonna use the word cut, but keep it real with me here. Don't play games, don't go back and forth. And I also feel like you're matching this person's energy. They express to you how interested they are in you. And say you're feeling the same Taurus you express to them, but if that communication isn't on its momentum is if it's not going back and forth i feel like you you do what you need to do taurus and you let it sit because you don't want to chase this person so it's all fun and games until i'm unavailable your energy taurus i'm tired of keeping it cool my feelings are much louder than that i will also touch back on this message once we receive our next messages and we also have it's truly not you it's me so i do feel like this message is for some of my tauruses who resonate with that feeling of there was a spark you wanted more with this person or you were interested in more with this person but something fell through and i feel like lack of clarity may be an energy for you taurus but let's go ahead and receive our last couple messages to get into the rest of taurus's energy what else do we need to know here about the energy making its way towards Taurus, please? Let's go ahead and receive a couple more messages. Let's see what we have out of these two. I'll never find anyone better. I have love for you always. I'll keep that in mind, Taurus. So far we have five messages. Let's go ahead and receive one more additional message, please, for Taurus. Okay, Taurus. So we'll take what we have and those last few cards are I would love you at your worst I would love you at your worst money I've got it let me show you we will get there in time and in the meantime we'll build the love we've always wanted be intentional and don't waste my time and last but not least time will tell everything I hope my worries don't come true so I do feel like your intuition has been speaking to you Taurus or things coming to you con or through your subconscious this could be dreams synchronicities my last time saying this only take what resonates for you but i feel like you're being more cautious and you're not letting the feelings of interest override what you really feel because sometimes we could start to romanticize the smallest things or wear rose-colored lenses here and I feel like you know, Taurus, that your love is very valuable and you're in it to win it. You're in it for the long haul with whoever it is, whoever is right for you. So you may be staying aback because of that or, when, like I said, mirroring this person's energy. I do feel like they think or they speak a lot about the future, the long term, and if it if it's recent, it may feel like it's too much too soon here. So let's get into... I would love you at your worst. I feel like this is your energy, Taurus, just unconditional love that you have to give to your loved ones here. And this is why or you are trying to avoid falling in too quick, too soon with this person or too fast, too soon with them. So I would love you at your worst. We also have money. I've got it. Let me show you. I feel like you take care of yourself, Taurus. You're independent um, and you're, you're aware of people who maybe 
out to get something specific from you but i also feel like this is this person's energy taurus um you could be dealing with an earth sign another earth sign or a water sign but i do feel like they are the type to court you taurus and once again talk about what they want with you so money i've got it let me show you this could be someone who's very charming very like yeah flattering taurus and then we have a couple cards to come back to taurus um time will tell everything i hope my worries don't come true as well as we will get there in time and in the meantime we'll build the love we've always wanted so with this message specifically taurus this person talking about getting to know one another um, building together and once again it sounds good to you but let's take it one step at a time let's just not talk about it let's put it into action time will tell everything i hope my worries don't come true your intuition speaking to you but not trying to jump to conclusions or place assumptions the beginning of things can be foggy at times so just knowing that things could clear up so we have this message be intentional and don't waste my time for my Tauruses who resonate with this energy, but you feel like you two keep going back and forth or you say this, but you do that. You say this, you don't show up here. So, and it's next to don't sugarcoat what's going on. So just be honest, be truthful. And I'm tired of keeping it cool. My feelings are much louder than that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I do feel like this is your energy Taurus wanting that momentum to pick up if what this person is saying is really real. So, and you may not be afraid to vocalize your feelings, your concerns, ask your questions, Taurus, because you are involved here. Let's go ahead and see what signs may be relevant for my Tauruses, please. We do have Sagittarius, so it could be recent since we are in Sagittarius season. We also have Gemini, Sagittarius, Gemini, as well as Leo. So some fire energy. But Taurus, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I will talk to you next time. Bye.